Madhura. Welcome to Madhura's Recipe. dot com. Today we are making crispy and crunchy vegetable burger, back to McDonald's style. Now uh, it's a multi-step process. Uh, so let's start with making uh, this uh, patty for burger first. So first over here in a pan, I have some uh, water heating up. Now after this water comes to boil, we're gonna pop in some vegetables in that. So over here water has come to a boil. Now over here I have some veggies. I have some diced carrot, then some green peas, green pepper as well as some beans. So I'm going to pop in these veggies straight into hot water, hot boiling water. and allow them to uh, boil for just about a minute not more than that we don't want to uh, overcook these veggies if you want you can also microwave these uh, veggies for just about a minute by adding some water so over here i have boiled these veggies for just about a minute now i'm going to turn off the heat and drain off all the excess water from these boiled vegetables like so and keep this aside all right so once our veggies are boiled now our next step is to uh, saute them in some butter so first i'm going to add a tablespoon of butter into a pan let the butter get melt down and then goes in some finely chopped onion in that and go ahead and saute this onion for just about 3 to 4 minutes we don't want to caramelize onions we are just looking forward to make them a little bit soft and over here i have sauteed these onions in butter for just about 3 to 4 minutes and look at them they look nice and soft and translucent now in this go ahead and pop in this boiled veggies and Saute this for three to four more minutes. And now, after sauteing these vegetables for uh, three to four more minutes, let's turn off the heat. And over here, I have a uh, two medium-sized potato, which uh, I have boiled, then peeled, and then mashed. Now, the thing about this potato is, you don't need to cook them completely. You just need to boil them until they are 90 percent done. If you overcook these potatoes, they are going to turn loose, lots of moisture, and they will turn extra soft. We are not looking for that. So just make sure to boil these potatoes until they are 90 percent done. Now, if you are boiling these potatoes in pressure cooker, uh, uh, for regular potatoes, if you are uh, making a uh, four whistles then uh, to boil these potatoes for making burger in that case you just uh, cook them on a medium high heat for two whistles now i will put these uh, boiled mashed potatoes in this veggie mixture make sure you have turned off the heat because if you add them into while the heat is going on they will uh, lose moisture and this mixture will turn extra soft and now I will pop in my rest of the spices, some garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, black pepper, just two pinches of black pepper, half teaspoon of paprika. If you don't have paprika, you can also use red chili powder. Then half teaspoon of parsley half teaspoon of Italian seasoning or mixed herbs and finally some salt for taste and now just give that a mix and once this potato is well combined with this uh, vegetables next over here I have this uh, half cup of thick poha or flattened rice so what I have done here basically I have rinsed this poha uh, under cold water for like uh, three, two to three times 
once the poha is well cleaned i have drained all the excess water from this poha covered that up and allowed it to sit for like uh, 10 minutes now uh, i'm going to take this uh, soaked poha thick poha and mash it down in this vegetable mixture what the, what this is going to do it's going to give nice uh, binding to this vegetable patty at the same time it will give nice crunch as well so make sure that you mash this poha flakes really well and now combine this uh, mashed poha with this vegetable mixture and make this into dough like so and once this is come together like a dough next step is to take this clear wrap and put this stuffing mixture and put this pate mixture into this clinch wrap just we are looking forward to make this into a round lock like so round and once that's been rolled into a lock shape just close that up using this clinch wrap give that a twist on the edges like so now i'm going to pop this into a freezer for just about 20 minutes while our burger patty mixture is getting chilled let's make the batter for coating of this uh, vegetable burger so first i'm gonna add fourth cup of maida or all-purpose flour into a bowl now i am using this batter to make just enough to make uh, three patties uh, then add in two teaspoon of corn flour and two tablespoon of corn meal that is makke kata you will find this at any local grocery store this one is typically used for making makke kiroti salt for taste and then i'm adding a teaspoon of oil in this mixture and then we'll add in ice cold water to make this into semi thick consistency batter not too thick and not too thin we should be able to coat this batter really good just mix this up really good so over here this batter is all ready so for fourth cup of all-purpose flour, two teaspoon of corn flour and two tablespoon of corn meal, I have used half cup of ice cold water to make this into a semi-thick batter. Look at that. Next we'll uh, make our burger buns ready. So here I have this burger bun. Just divide this into two pieces. Cut this in half. like so now i'm going to apply some butter and slightly toast this buns from just one side on a skillet and that's been toasted look at that it's got this awesome golden color let's keep this aside look at that simply good And over here this vegetable patty mixture has been rested in freezer for just about 20 minutes now let's remove that from the wrap and cut this
like so and here this vegetable patty is ready now I'm gonna take my burger bun and flatten it out just enough to give it a shape of this just the size of this burger bun and look at that this is exactly the size of this burger bun now I'm just going to give it a nice round shape like so now take this batter that we have made earlier for coating give that one more stir now with the help of spoon I am going to drop this into this batter coat this really good and next in another bowl I have this uh, bread crumbs so these are homemade bread crumbs and in my last episode I have shared a recipe for this homemade bread crumbs now I am going to dip my patty in this bread crumbs and coat this really good from all the side it has got and once it's been coated really good from all the side with this bread crumbs just keep that aside and now we are going to deep fry this patty and over here this patty is ready and oil also looks enough hot so I'm gonna take this patty into this strainer and drop it very carefully into hot oil and just deep fry it until it gets deep golden color from both the sides after about two minutes give that a flip and cook this for two more minutes and look at that over here I have deep fried this patty for five minutes and let's take that out shake off all the excess oil it looks so good and take that out and it is lined up with tissue paper in the same way I'm frying my next patty over here I have fried one of this vegetable patty and look at that the texture it has got and the crunch I hope you can hear the crunch it just it has just turned the way we gave this patty at McDonald superb now uh, take one of the burger bun that uh, we have toasted earlier put this patty then I'm gonna top this up with a slice of cheese that's optional if you don't like cheese you can just skip that out let's take another uh, burger bun that is the top side of this burger bun then I'm adding some veg eggless mayo on the top of this bun like so then top this up with some sliced lettuce leaves I'm adding sliced tomato now tom adding tomato is optional you can add onion if you like and now it's a time to close this up wow. like that this burger looks so good and over here this crunchy crispy vegetable burger is all ready look at that this patty is nice and crispy oh, let me cut this in half for you look 
look at that. Looks so good. And this vegetable burger tastes really so good. It just is as good as this uh, McDonald's veggie burger or Mac veggie. So I hope you liked my today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Also, if you have any comments, suggestions, please note down in the comment box below. Also, please remember to subscribe on our YouTube channel. It's free and whenever I post a new recipe, you will be the first to get informed about that. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.